This is Low End Gaming and I will show you how you can take your game from this to this easily. Facing lag, low FPS, high ping, packet loss. Don't worry all your problems will be solved here, just watch the video till the end. This was my first video, make sure to watch it first and try the tweaks in that video. Anyways let's get started with the video. For the step 1, open your game and go to settings. Click on graphics and follow me. Change the display mode to full screen exclusive. For the resolution the choice is yours or just keep it at default. Scroll down and turn a vertical sync. Now click on apply. Then go to the quality tab. Set the graphics preset to custom. Under the render scale, if you have a lower end GPU then set it all the way to the lowest L set it to around 70. Now just follow me and copy my other settings. Now, apply the settings and play your game. Well, I hope you got a good FPS boost after this. Let's change the upscaling method to get more FPS. Go to quality settings and change the upscale method to AMD FSR 3 and set it to maximum performance. You can try different upscaling methods and see what works best for your PC. Now, let's move to the next step. Now, we will edit the config file to get more FPS. Don't worry this will not ban you from the game. Go to this PC. Documents. Call of Duty. Players. Open the options.4.cod23.cst with notepad. Now, carefully follow me and only do as I do. In render worker count set it to number of cores your system has and subtract one from it. So to check it, go to task manager. In performance tab you can see the cores. I have 12 cores. Minus 1 is 11 so I will write here 11. Yours may be different. Scroll down and you will find gameplay section. Here change corpse limit to 10. Show blood to false and blood limit to true. Blood limit interval to 500. Show brass to false. Now scroll down and go to display section. Texture quality to 2. Particle quality to low. Tessellation to 0 underscore off. Model quality to low. Corpse culling threshold to 0 0.5. Subdivision level to 0. World streaming quality to low. Volumetric quality to low. Screen space shadow quality to off. Sun shadow cascade to low. Shadow quality to low. AA technique preferred to TAA. Reflection probe relighting to 1. Static sun shadow clip map resolution to 512. And guys we are finally done. Now just save your file and play your game and just see the results. So, for a smooth gameplay in an online multiplayer game, the in-game ping should be less. More or less the ping smoother the gameplay. Let's reduce the ping. Follow me and do as I do. Search for device manager and open it. Find network adapters, and make sure that all the drivers are up to date. Now, run the command prompt as an administrator. Here type the following command and run it. This will flush your DNS. Next, open your control panel, go to network and internet. Network and sharing center. Change adapter settings. Right click and go to properties. Select protocol version 4 and go to properties. Tick use the following DNS address. In preferred type 1, 1, 1, 1. In alternate type 1, 0, 0, 1. And click on OK. So, this DNS address changes according to which DNS server has the highest speed currently. Go to this website and check which is the fastest server and apply it. Also this are the fastest public DNS servers. Well, I have an easier way for you. Download the DNS jumper software from the description below. Here, click on fastest DNS and start DNS test. Select the fastest server and click on apply. This will automatically apply the fastest DNS server. Click on flush DNS and this will automatically clear the DNS cache. Hope this helps. Well, so after doing all the steps if you manage to get around 20 frames per second we can transform it into smooth 60 frames per second gameplay, as you can see on the screen. Well, to do that we will use a software called Lossless Scaling. I will make it simple for you, just follow me. First set your game to windowed mode. Now, download and install the MSI Afterburner and open the Riva Tuner which is installed with it. 
Here type your frame rate you're getting to cap it. Now, open the lossless scaling. Copy my settings as it is. Now, click on scale and immediately switch to your game window. Wait for around 5 seconds and boom, now your game will run very smoothly. You can see the comparison with your own eyes. You can cap the FPS to any value and get more a smoother performance. I also tested for 40 frames per second, and you can see the difference.